Hello my friends and welcome to episode 3 of Mobius Front. Let's play. Whoa, see those guys? They're from Port Riley. I'm uh a little bit concerned by the last mission. Yeah, I don't think it like played that great because the enemy had so many of those fast attack vehicles that were just really very efficient. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, reinforcements, finally. <laughs> the fighting first. Got in a fight with two of them once. Mm hmm. Is that how you lost your nuts? <laughs> you want your ass kicked too? Because I can arrange that. <laughs> oh, I'm all good, boss. It's the RNG that bugs me, really. The RNG can be the difference between exploding the enemy in a single hit and being exploded in a single hit. What is the objective here? Destroy surface to air missile batteries again. They're down here, aren't they? Oh, apparently there's six of them, so maybe they're up here and down here. But this is the only space that looks like a proper space. If that makes sense. Okay, apparently they've only got f 10 points worth of units this time, so... Seems like a good position. Now you see, this is where the RNG really shines, right? I mean... This unit is already set up. Wow. So I could attack it and pray for a 4. 25% chance to instantly kill him. If I don't kill him, he's going to retaliate and it's going to hurt. A lot. Or I can smoke. Which means that the most damage he can do is 2. But if he does two damage, he's effectively killed my tank. How is he already set up? He did five damage, so he got a freaking big hit off. Wait a minute. He's only got a range of three. Wow, I low rolled. I did two. So he was one off the max and I was one off the min. Yeah, you stand by there.
Okay. Wow, he, he got a max shot there. Well, not quite a max shot, but I mean... Two to six, he got at least a four. Oh, none of your attacks can actually hit air. Well, that's helpful. Well, he can hit air. forest. Let's try the chopper. Okay, of course there's a pair of those assault tanks. Oh wow, I just found one of their APCs. Right where I could actually put some real harm into it. doesn't move. Which it hasn't. A two and a three. Not good rolls for him. Perfect. Oi! A four. Four out of four. You know, I'd love to set that these guys up, but uh, it's pointless. Oh, I rolled a one. Two to four damage, one to three after moving. Two to six damage, range six. Is he in range? No, because of the forest tile. You can shoot over forest, but not if the forest is too close, I guess. Okay, he can't hit air. He can hit air, but he has to move. A uh, helicopter is not allowed to hover over forests. For reasons. I can shoot the minigun, but it wouldn't really achieve anything. Do you know what? Two to three damage is actually not bad considering. Uh, sorry, one to three. As long as I don't get a one. That does hurt him a little bit, and that does potentially mean that I can get him.
Oh wow, he he high rolled and obliterated my tank in one hit. One can always appreciate a high roll. You know, it's very hard to be tactical when a high or low roll can just immediately, you know, create a win or failure. infantry with my uh, I can start weakening their infantry with my infantry he can't move and shoot you can't shoot into a forest tile unless you're next to it either so none of them can actually do anything to me. Oh, they set up. Okay, well we're not going around the corner then. We are not going around the corner if they're already set up. Which of these units can hit air? Just him? You know the SAM sites are down there, right? And they've got range 6. Okay, well none of these guys can hit air, so I'm just going to sit there and shoot at them. Oh, great. First time that my mortar tank actually gets a go, and it misses. Skillfully done. Caught in the infantry quagmire here. These guys can hit it though. No, they can't. No, they cannot.
get to the chopper. Oh, the rockets can hit infantry. I did not know this. Or I wasn't thinking about it. They actually have infantry as a valid target. With four range, that makes them very effective. Of course, you can use them after moving as well. Yay, one damage! Woo! Might as well have used the friggin' coaxial. much in the way of units that can actually uh, hit their chopper. And so we're going to live in a strange world where the cobra gets shot down by a recon chopper. have a shot for some reason? Oh, because they got short range weapons. Oh, I got a one. They can definitely shoot down my chopper now. Thank you, RNG. It was a 50-50. Damage 1 to 2 range. I'm not even sure how they could see that infantry, but okay. And if it wasn't for the RNG, I would still have my my helicopter to then go after this tank with. Instead, I am now ruined. These vehicles, they must cost. Oh, low roll. They must cost very little to deploy because you always end up facing so many of them. Well, there's no way we're going to win this, so we have to uh, abandon and restart. I am not sure how I feel about RNG being sort of more important than strategy. 
because that's how this game feels. You get the high rolls, you do great. You get the low rolls, you get wrecked. Let's go. The fact that enemy freaking um, anti-tank anti missile infantry can be set up and ready to go in the same time it takes me to actually just get to the front line indicates that the AI is spawning forward like much more forward than me see he's already there and he's already deployed and this is like a freaking alcove so he would have had to have gone in down around up and deploy I got two choices I either smoke and absorb the shot which is probably probability wise is the thing that's most likely to succeed or I shoot at him and pray for a four knowing that the return fire is gonna be two to six well oh, he's still got a four there so uh, had I not have smoked I would have been uh, in the world of pain I have no way of um, I have no way of getting more than one unit to attack him because I don't believe that tanks can shoot through each other. Oh they can. Even that could have gone badly wrong. Okay, so that unit cost them, what, one point? Damn, man, this thing does have some sexy weapons, that's for sure. I'm almost tempted to bring along a load of jeeps just to shoot the enemy down with, but I will bring the helicopter because... Um... I'll bring the helicopter because they have very few units that can hit air, apart from their own, their own helicopter. Uh, all of the tanks can hit air. Okay, stand by. We're not in any rush. Can I see over the forest from there? Nope. Okay, well there's definitely a unit there. It's the enemy chopper. Wow. You just mobility killed my tank. Okay, and none of these guys have got a shot. How pleasant.
rolled a two. And that means that I didn't kill him. Now I'm going to get punished for it. All I needed was for both of my rolls to be 50 or greater. 50% or greater. Oh, he went for the mobility killed one. This is acceptable to me. Alright, sweet. There goes the recon chopper. the lowest roll I could have possibly gotten. Okay, I got reasonable rolls there. Here I am having to constantly talk about rolls. Jeep. Oh, great. Oh, they've got another helicopter, and they must have just bought these. still hope. Wherever that artillery is, let's run away. Okay, he low rolled. How how pleasant. Oh wow, I mega low rolled there. Two to six, and I did three. I suppose it could have been ever so slightly worse. Well, now he has the opportunity to one-shot me. Because I low-rolled. And one-shot me, he did. Two, 
Fortunately, he decided to one-shot a tank instead of one, uh, one-shotting the mortar truck instead of one-shotting one of my tanks. That chopper is going to stalk me. Well, hello there. Now there's an ambush. Well, I can't use the smoke because, uh... The smoke is... Not loaded. And I low rolled that too. Well, three is not bad actually. If he gets a six on that missile, I'm in so much trouble. And he did! But you know what? I can still win this. Oh wow, I fought him. See, they don't have anything apart from missile teams that can penetrate my armor. Let's reload. Reload the smoke launchers. Okay, that's range one missile team. Okay, so as long as he doesn't score a six, two to six, so dice roll one through five, as long as he doesn't get a six, I'm okay. Although a five would probably be quite bad as well. No, he didn't even fire. Sweet, I appreciate you. Although, low rolling my hits here will probably be very bad, but we'll see how it goes. Wow, I'm cheesing this mission. I'm cheesing it so hard. All the resources in the world don't matter if you can't get a shot. <laughs> I just, I don't know how I feel about this game because RNG matters so much. It's not like RNG is a small band of like, you're gonna do X and you might do X plus one or X minus one. It's the difference between doing literally no damage whatsoever and instantly killing the enemy. That is the range of RNG with a lot of the attacks. We got those SAM sites cleared, but air support's still a no-go. Apparently the enemy's flying phantoms too, so nobody can tell them apart. <laughs> it's just my luck to be in some kind of crazy mess like this. You ever think something like this would happen, Sergeant? It's my duty to be prepared for anything, sir. Yeah, well, this just takes the cake. Takes the cake, man. It's frustrating, you know? It's just 
Frustrating. Don't forget the men from the first, sir. We're meeting at 1600 hours. Right. Right. Well, maybe they have a better idea what's going on here. Good blink. Hold out against an enemy attack until reinforcements arrive. Okay. Well, so far I'm having fun, but I am hesitant now. Like, the. We'll have to see how the units shape up and how many more units there are and how they interact and so on, but my current concern is that the RNG band is too wide. As I said, X plus or minus one would definitely be more tactical and more workable. But, you know, the difference between instantly killing the enemy and doing no damage, that's, that's crazy. That's too wide. If a tank attacks an assault car, it should not either completely destroy the car or do no damage whatsoever, right? You would expect consistently, you know, you would expect it to consistently do some damage, maybe two or three out of four and occasionally kill it but as it stands um, flip a coin <laughs> is it gonna blow up or are you gonna do nothing and you know in the cases where you do absolutely nothing that can just be game endingly bad you know you can have two or three tanks available to assassinate a target but if they all roll low and that's not even unlikely the you know the the odds there are not actually terrible um if they all roll low then the stationary tank you know which gets a plus two bonus to its attack obviously because it's stationary can then one shot one of your vehicles or uh, mobility kill it very easily since the damage is two to six um on uh, on those on those tank cannons so the worst that could happen is that you do no damage of course but between 2 and 6 you are more likely to do at least some damage but it's also very easy to do fatal damage 6 5 and 6 is fatal damage to a tank easily and 4 is a mobility kill so really only 3 and 2 are negative results so you're more likely to take the piece off the board than you are to do anything else. Anyway, that's enough ranting from me. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.